Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines where we do have a bit of a traffic, not traffic, a bit of a garbage situation going on in this hub over here. Now I want to just put in like a recycling center right up here and that'll probably go a long ways towards helping that. And we're also working on developing this hub. So that's definitely something that we need to work on. Now, I want to check what our metro line situation was here. We just don't have any. Okay, so we're going to put some in over here, and I'm probably not going to bother to take the time to name them. This will be much simpler over here because we're going to use buses, I think. So we're going to do something along the lines of that, and then another one going the opposite direction. And we'll just do something kind of like this. Wonderful. Now, as far as actually connecting these hubs, I haven't thought about how we're going to do it. And I probably should think about that. We'll get to that in a bit, I think. And then we'll have another set going around this direction. Wonderful. And then another set going this way. Perfect. Now then, we're going to need a bus depot over here. And let's just drop our bus depot, say... We could drop our bus depot somewhere like out here. That would take out a power line. Maybe we'll just drop it here. Wonderful. And then these bus lines, they are going to have a bus stop, say, right there. And then how do we want to handle this? It's in the center of blocks. We could just have a stop at each of these locations. Like that, and then a stop. Mm, yeah, that is a ca the case, isn't it? Because this is one way. I need to think about that. I need to think about that. It has to come this way, and then this way. Which means that the stop should have to be there. Which is definitely the wrong way for this traffic going this way. That's a bit of a yikes. Maybe it would stop here and they'd have to walk this block. That wouldn't be an awful proposition. So essentially it would come over like so. And then the stop would be here. And then it would come up over this way. And land in like that. That's a possibility. And then we could do basically the same thing over here. Where it would like come up this direction. And then it would stop, say, here. And then how would we turn this around? You know what? Let's just not have bus along this. <laughs> Simple solutions. Simple solutions. And then we're going to come on in over this way. Actually, not there. The bus stop has to be here because of the one way. And then we're going to bring it around like that. Beautiful. Same thing over here. It's going to go there. And then it's going to just come in like so. And then, of course, it has to stop here. And then just do something kind of like that. That would theoretically work. And then we could maybe have additional lines going on these, but I'll have to think about how I would want that to work. Speaking of how I want something to work, I want it to come in. Ooh, this is inverted. This is inverted. So it would have to come in like this, and there would have to be a pedestrian crossing. But I mean, we don't expect high traffic over here, so that should be completely fine. And it would be something along the lines of that. Okay, and then we could have bus lines that go along here, but I think for now we'll just let that be. And we can see that we've already got buses running over here, even though we don't have any people or anything zoned over here, I'm sure it's fine. We do need to figure out how we want to connect in these metro lines. And I think the way to do it, this isn't going to be pretty, but the way to do it is probably, these train lines are a potential issue, to be sure. We could have it connect in over here. 
So like this would come out, say, over this way, about like that. And then attach in over here. We'd want it to curve kind of like this. Or actually kind of like this. It doesn't want to do that. That's awkward. So we'd have to have this come out like over here or something. I would want this to be a much narrower. That's actually probably good enough, isn't it? This, of course, up here is awful. <laughs> and we'll get rid of that. Okay, and then we'll link these together. Something kind of like that. And then this would come out over this direction and curve in kind of like this. And maybe bring it out a little wider and have it come in like that. That could theoretically work. And then we create a line over this way and add a stop there. And then have it come back around in theory. Except that it doesn't like to do that. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this section out. And we're going to have it connect in up here instead. Like that. Just so that we can have this go properly. And it'll create a line then to here. And then to here. And then back around to here. Now this may create some metro congestion, but I'm sure the game can figure it out. What could possibly go wrong? And we want this to be coming back this direction. Uh, that is not the way that I want you to add a stop. I want you to come around over here. I guess we can only do this the one way, unless maybe we're able to start it here and bring it around. No, it does not want to pathfind that way. Okay, I guess it'll do for now. We'll only have the one line. Certainly not ideal. Absolutely for sure. Well, we do need to start doing a little zoning out here, and that's probably something that we should do. I'm going to go ahead and begin working on a little residential in here. We're going to leave this entirely untouched on the inside. And we'll just do some residential there. We'll fill in the rest of this once that gets going. There's also some demand for commercial. We'll do that right here. And some demand for industrial, and we'll do that right up over here. Here. Again, we'll remove these power lines as that starts to get developed, which in fact it currently is working on. It looks like we can not see the power line and be, in, or the power zones and be in uh, destruction mode, but okay. Okay, now we can. I don't know. That's odd. <laughs> sure. We're just going to do that right now. And that, of course, allows us to continue zoning in this area. Wonderful. And we will take that on out. Perfect. Wonderful. So we'll allow that to get started. In the meantime, we do have a bunch of new buildings that we can construct for our Island City Institute. We do need another academic work. We're going to give a dissertation funding for that. And that'll get us upgraded to level three next academic year. But we do need for sure to put in, let's see here, what do we need? We needed a, I believe we already have one of these. Yes, we do. Uh, we need an outdoor study and that's pretty large. I was planning on perhaps putting it in out over here somewhere. It doesn't seem to want to go there. It could go here though, or perhaps here. We can make it symmetrical by putting in an outdoor study there and there. Excellent. We also had access to the gymnasium, and that is certainly something that we will put in there as well as there. What is the capacity for each of these? 300, okay. And we also have access to the cafeteria. I'd like to put that centrally located there. And also a university fountain. It would be great to have that in the center too. We may actually want to move this club and instead place that, say, out over here 
And then we can put in like another one over here when we get access to another club. Or we could just put in a symmetrical one, say, here, to balance that out. And in fact, technically, this outdoor study should be up over here. We don't have the cash. Gonna clear all these out. I know there's a mod that adds a clear button. I really should get that. Okay, we're gonna do that, like so. And what other building did we get? Oh yeah, it was the University Fountain. And we don't have access to any of the other faculties just yet. So we'll put in the University Fountain, and that space already occupied, actually. So the cafeteria is going to have to be, like, moved over to here. And maybe put in a symmetrical cafeteria. That's a gymnasium. A, sy a symmetrical cafeteria up over here. And actually, we have the groundskeeping there. But I don't think the groundskeeping we can build another one of, can we? We can, but would it actually do anything? Yeah, that's no student capacity. So I actually think I'm just going to relocate that to be, like, out here. Like that. Get that out of there. Can we fit the cafeteria inside of here? No. No, we cannot. So we'll have to find something else to go in that spot. That is okay. The cafeteria costs 21000 And we'll put that in just as soon as we've got the cash. I'm actually slightly shocked that we managed to burn our way through all the cash that we had. <laughs> we had a lot of cash, but that's okay. I should probably go to speed three for this, but that sounds like work considering we're basically there. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Excellent. So our university is coming along nicely. We will get bumped up to reputation level three in the next year. That's great. We won't have access to varsity sports for a while, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and zone in another set of areas over here. We should probably be able to get rid of this at this time. In fact, we should be able to get rid of this entire section at this time. So that's great. And we will, of course, get make sure that that's zoned in. And we'll also zone in everything over here. Wonderful. And then we'll also zone in some commercial. There is some demand for it. One thing that I am definitely aware of is that we don't have a lot of services over here. And that's something that we should definitely look at putting in. So there we go. We are going to need fire services for sure. Let's put in a fire station, say, here, as well as perhaps one up over here. This isn't going to be exactly symmetrical, but it'll be probably good enough. And I'm, I am actually going to bump this up to speed three as we're currently lacking in a little bit of cash. So we'll put that in there. And then police will also need up over here somewhere. I'm thinking here. As well as perhaps here. Just give us halfway decent coverage there. There we go. As far as education over here goes, we're going to need some. We should put in an elementary school, perhaps here. And we may also need a high school. Yeah, we definitely do need a high school as well. So we'll put that in up over here. Just waiting on the cash. Come on, cash. There we go. Okay, and we're going to need some garbage disposal over here, for sure. We can plop, plop in a recycling center, perhaps up over here. That'll cover pretty much this whole area. We are lacking power over here. That won't last forever, but that is definitely something that is true that we would be doing. So we'll just go ahead and bring power in like that. I think that'll connect. Yes, it will. Fantastic. So we have some garbage disposal up here. Next, we're of course going to need some health care. So we'll just do that for now. We could also drop another one over here, and that might not be a terrible idea. We'll do that for now. We should also have at least one crematorium. And we'll put that over here. Just as soon as we've got the cash. These are surprisingly expensive, of course. There we go. And I would love to put in another one over here. 
That would be absolutely great. So what else are we going to need over here in terms of services? That's definitely something that I'm thinking about Last year, currently. Horse economy three smashed PC sales records and, and now I'm thinking about Horse Economy 3 and PC sales records. Did we not build that fountain? Oh, we didn't build the fountain. Okay, we'll come back to the fountain in a moment. Because I think the only thing we're missing over here at this point is a road maintenance building. And we'll put that in, say, down over here. That's going to be a little bit of cash that we need, of course. Spreadsheets are always super hot. Okay, so we're going to put that in. Perfect. And we are going to zone this up over here. And we'll see if I missed any services over here. I think I got them all. I hope I did anyway. So let's go ahead and continue to expand in this hub. Wonderful. I mean, we are running power from over here. We may want to think about having that be to some degree unified. Like, on its own. I was going to say unified, but unified is the opposite of the word I was going for. So that doesn't actually help all that much. Not enough goods to sell. Goods! Goods. That would help. That's a thing that I was definitely forgetting. So we want a cargo train terminal somewhere off over here-ish. Like, here would probably work. Grazing off the lush vegetation of the time. We'll need a lot of cash for that. That's for sure. So let's go ahead and take it up to speed three, and we'll build that in as soon as we can. I can't believe I forgot about getting goods here. Maybe we should have it over on this side, actually. Yeah, I think we should have it over on this side. So let's go ahead and put it in, say, over here. Or actually, like, here. Here should be good. So we'll put that in there. And then we'll have, like, a bit of one-way train that goes up to here. And then we could just have it loop back in over this way. And if they want to go up here, then they can come over this way. Okay, there's an earthquake coming. We'll look at that in a moment. So we'll do something like that, and we don't have water out here either. That would help. We'll just do this. Actually, no, this is not where we want this to be. We want to extend this out a little further, and that's going to be problematic, actually. Um, you know what? I'm actually just going to do it some something like this, and probably call it good on the size of this hub. I think it's fine. Not the most efficient for water, but it should be it should be just okay. And we're going to extend that up to there, just for some redundancy. And where's this gonna be? Well, this might give us an excuse to fix this. <laughs> That's going to definitely affect our waterfall. I can tell you that. It's gonna be very interesting. So these trains will, of course, come in here and they'll bring in goods. That should be fine. Not enough educated workers over here. There will be eventually. And we should have fire heading out over here. That said, our fire stations are probably going to be pretty overloaded here soon. And in reality, maybe we want to put another one in up here. Just to be on the safe side because of the trees up over here. That also does make me think that perhaps, perhaps, we want to have another fire helicopter depot and another disaster relief center. I don't know. We'll see. This earthquake is going to hit up here. We'll see what kind of damage it does. This will be interesting. We'll see how long it is before it actually hits. In the meantime, we can get rid of this abandoned structure. That'll be okay. We're lacking goods up here. Now, why would we be lacking goods up here?
Okay, here comes that earthquake. An earthquake is occurring. Don't panic and wait for help if you are in the affected area. Interesting. Very, very interesting. It looks like it's just going to miss us, so this isn't particularly relevant to us, I don't think. This water is going to take a while to settle. But overall, not too bad. Let's just work on smoothing this back out over here, just filling that crack in a little bit. I'm not going to really adjust the coastline at all. I think overall, that's fine. No big deal. Now we do have some collapsed structures over here. And we're going to have some work to do, for sure. So we can go ahead and remove some of this. Excellent. Are we not getting trains over here? I'm really wondering why we're lacking goods. Did our highway get destroyed? No. And even if it did, we have outside access via train. Let's see, this train is... Heading up. Okay. Seems fine. One thing I would like to potentially do is create, essentially... A way for a train that is going this way to get up here. So that would be essentially something along the lines of that. Except I'd like it to be maybe a little bit more curved. So it would come up maybe something like... Ooh, I don't like that angle. I want it to come up up over this way. But I guess it would have to come up like that. So now a train coming this way can go up there. And as far as a train that's coming this way, how would that go about going up there? Possibly by changing the way that this comes in. Having it come in... I wonder if that's it. that angle is too sharp. Like that? The train vanished. So, uh... I don't know. Maybe it's too sharp. If so, we can take this section out and redo that. That's a thing we could do. Have it come in more like that. It's an option. I don't know that it's a great option, but it's an option. We're lacking some power over here. Why would we be lacking power here? No, seriously, why would we be lacking power here? I don't think we're short on power. And it looks to me like there's a path for the power to flow in. Maybe we should just connect this up? Would that do the trick? I mean, it should be the same thing, right? We have a we have a, plenty of production. I don't know. At any rate, we need to come up over here and rebuild this crematorium. We need to come up over here and rebuild this firehouse. And we've got a few abandoned structures over here. I'm also not sure why we've got a shortage of goods right now. We should be able to import our goods just fine. Over here, I understand, to be clear. Over here, the shortage of goods is because this train depot just was built. Like, not long ago. However, 
What is up with this power? Huh. I wonder why that happened. Connecting it here powered this over here. Do these have a limit of how much power they can transmit on a single line? Doesn't say that it does. But this definitely should have been connected in. I don't know, that's very strange. At any rate, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to see about tackling this not enough goods issue. I'm not sure where, why they're not getting their goods. Perhaps it has to do with backups like this, or I, I don't know. We'll take a look at that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.